Hello YouTube, it's your boy Ron back at it again with another classic video about football. Now Brazil have officially released their football squad. Now we have names such as Gabriel Martinelli and Gabriel Jesus from Arsenal who have been called to the World Cup squad. Now I'm going to be highlighting the names of the World Cup squad if you don't already know. I'll put I think I'll put the list somewhere over here. Now we have Alison Becker, we have Weverton, Ederson, Moares as the goalkeepers. We have the defenders Thiago Silva, Marquinhos, Militao, Gleison Bremer, Danilo, Dani Alves, Alexandro, Alex Teles. We have Casemiro, Fred, Fabinho, Bruno Guimarães, Lucas Pagueta, Everton Ribeiro as our midfielders. And for the strikers, we have Gabriel Martinelli, his first World Cup. We have Neymar Jr., we have Vinicius Jr., we have Anthony, we have Rafinha, we have Richarlison, Rodrigo, Gabriel Jesus, and Pedro Guilmere. Now, this aside, I'm going actually to be rating these players on a scale of 1 to 10 on how they have been now they have been this this small part of the season now for alison becker my ratings according to liverpool's performance i'm going to be putting him at a 6.5 this is because of his performance actually he has not been performing so well according to what we expect from him now for alison becker i'm going to be rating him at a 6.5 because of his performance actually I don't think it, he has been performing so up to standard because of the performance Liverpool are at on right now. Uh, for Ederson, I'm going to to be placing him at around 8.8.5 because for the goalkeeper he's not been doing much because he has a good, such a good defense system that has not been allowing the strikers into the box so much. And um, I think 8.5 suits him. From Everton, I don't know about him that much, so I'm not going to be putting any numbers on him. Thiago Silva, according to Chelsea's performance too, I don't think he is going to surpass or reach expectations because as for me, Thiago Silva, I'm rating him at a 6. Marquinhos, according to PSG's performance, Marquinhos is actually a 9 to me. Eda Militao, true. He, he has also reached my standards. He's an 8.5. Uh, Gleison Bremer from Juventus, I've not been seeing much of him. Same, same for Danilo, Daniel Alves. He is a legend, so I think his ratings is just going to be up there. So for me, Daniel Alves is going to be a going to be a seven. For Alexandro, I've, I've not been seeing much of Juventus, but according to the performance, I think all the Juventus players, I'm going to be rating them at five because actually they they got knocked out of the Champions League and they are in the Europa League. So, of all the Juventus players, despite the performance on the pitch, I'm actually going to use them equal on a 5 scale. For Alex Tellers, I think, uh, I've not been seeing much of Alex Tellers since he left Manchester United. But I think making the Brazilian World Cup squad is something good for him. So, I'm going to have him at a 7. Uh, Casemiro, I've been seeing his performance. He has been well, he has been well in the defense system. So, I'm going to be having him at an 8. Fred, he actually has an assist. So, and he has a goal too. So, Fred, he actually stands at 7.5 in my scale. Fabinho, is actually good, but the performance of Liverpool, I think, might drag him down a little bit. So, I'm going to be rating Fabinho at a 6. Uh, Bruno Guimaraes, we have seen the performance at Newcastle, he actually caused problems at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Bruno Guimaraes controlled the midfield and I actually think he's a very good option in this midfield for Brazil. So Bruno Guimaraes is a 10 for me. Lucas Pagueta is also, is also good. I'm actually going to be having him at a 9.5. Everton Ribeiro, I don't know much about him. I'm going to be having him at let's say 5. Uh, Gabriel Martinelli, according to the Arsenal's performance this season, Gabriel Martinelli is on fire and that has him on top of the scale at a 10. Actually, maybe an 11, maybe. Because he is such a talented player who needs that time to prove to his country too. Uh, so I think he's the best option for the, for the strikers in this team. Neymar Jr. is a 10 for me. That's not something to argue about. 
Vinicius Junior is a 10 for me. That's nothing to argue about. Anthony is a 9.5 since he's actually getting to adapt the Manchester United type of play. But he has two goals already. That makes him that is such a good thing for him. So being a 9.5 for me is not too bad. For Rafinha, I'm going to be having him an, at an 8 because at the beginning of the season he was such a flare, but right now I think he's he's, he's deemed a little bit. But he's still set to go. I think he will perform very well at the World Cup. Uh, for Richarlison, I'm going to be having him at a 10 because he's such a goal scorer. We, we saw in the Brazilian friendlies, he is a good goal scorer. When he is when he is in the position, he really gives us the goals that we re- require from him. For Rodrigo, it's a it's a 10 for me because he's such a young player, causing a, causing that difference that players actually forget about. That young players can actually score goals give the pressure to the defense system as you have actually seen for Gabriel Martinelli such young players that they bring the, the source, the player to the pitch to the to the defense and they actually give us goals. Gabriel Jesus his performance is up to par and we are going to be giving him a 9 because what I think about Gabriel Jesus he should be a guy who is scoring goals not trying to score goals you know, he should be that person. When he is in the position should be able to score goals just not standing there and looking to who to pass to next or trying to you know to jog a bonito through the defense when you're in the position just as Richarlison does just deliver the goals but when you're not inside the the 18 yard box just try to 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 go through the defense but not forgetting that Gabriel Jesus is such a good player and he has just caused that you know there is this vibrant feeling in Arsenal that he has brought with him that he's so good, he's so blessed for Arsenal and I think he's a, such a good player. For, so 9 nine for Gabriel Jesus is not bad for Pedro Gulmere. I don't know him so much but I'm not going to be saying much about him too. So I'm going to be keeping him on on a tight scale of between 5 and 7. So you guys down in the comment section below just tell me what you think about, about Pedro Gulmere. Yeah, guys. So without much talking, I'm going to, now. I'm I'm now going to be saying what I'm going to be choosing as my squad, as my personal squad. I wish there was an FPL for the World Cup. I think I would have so much points because of this squad, right? Now, for my goalkeeper, I'm going for Ederson. Uh, for my centre backs, I'm going with Militao and Marquinhos. Uh, subbing off Militao at the second half, then having Thiago Silva due to more experience. For for my right wing back, I'm going to have Danilo, and for my left, for my left wing back, I'm going to be having Alex Telles just because of the left foot. Now for my two midfielders, my double pivot, I'm going to be having Lucas Pagueta and Casemiro. And then my attacking midfielder, I'm going to be having Neymar. And then on my right winger, I'm going to be having Rafinha, subbing, subbing him off and having, um, and having, what is his name, Rodrigo in the second half. Just to bring that energy into the pitch for... For my for my left winger, I'm going to be having Vinicius Junior. This is because of the speed and the, the way he just causes the pressure and brings the ball into the 18-yard box. And for my center forward, I'm going to be having Richarlison, subbing him off at around the 80th, 80th minute and having Gabriel Jesus in. I think this is one of the best squads that we are going to be seeing in a while from Brazil because it is that squad that. I've, as we have seen in the couple of days has brought so much spice into the football world and I think this is actually a score that is going to be contending for the World Cup not forgetting that we have other good teams that I'll be reviewing later on in this in other videos to come so guys I think that is it for me the, the actually the formation is 4 2 3 1 I'm going to be reviewing it again I said my goalkeeper is going to be Allison my center backs Miltau and Marquinhos Danilo as my as my right wing back, Alexandro as my left wing back, Lucas no not Alexandro, Alex Teles as my left wing back, Lucas Pagueta and Casemiro as my double pivot, Neymar Junior as my attacking midfielder, and 
Rafinha and Vinicius Jr. as the wing as the wingers and Richarlison as the center forward. Now, this and much more other than crazy news, interesting news coming from this channel. Sorry for saying I don't know even why I said crazy. But this <clears throat> this and much more other news coming to you from this channel of ours. So guys be sure to like, drop a comment down below and subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe guys. So let's continue helping each other out in this, you know what I'm saying? This football world and we're going to grow. So guys, thank you for watching this video. It has such an it has been a great time being with you guys. Thank you for watching. If you watched the full video, thank you so much.